Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Moda Super Series Champions Week final. We are live on Sporty Stuff TV here at the Moda Live Lounge in Portsmouth. And now would you please welcome to the stage the first of our finalists. It's the Barbarian, Conan Whitehead. And now would you please welcome to the stage his opponent. It's the gambler, Graham Let the mood settle here at the Modus Live Lounge. Let the nerves present themselves because these guys are about to play one of, if not the biggest game of their lives. In a monetary sense, it is without a doubt the biggest game of their lives because they've never played for 10 grand before. But they know for a fact that they've got 10 grand in the back pocket already, but they want 10 more. And they want to be the first person to win a Champions Week under this roof. Two of the biggest hitters in Super Series history. They have six you, wins and between them. First leg, it's Conan to throw first. Game on. Incredible respect between these two. Great to see. But this is Conan Whitehead who came through that thrilling semi-final with Daryl Pilgrim. 100. What do we say about those semi-finals, Corinne Hammond, my esteemed co-commentator for this final? How did they get 24. themselves into the same sort of bubble after the adrenaline spikes they've had in the last hour? I know, it's just, uh, it's just amazing, really, but they've passed those semis, and now they're into the final. How have they geared themselves up for this? Let's just hope that this match is as enthralling as the last two semi-finals have been. Well, that is an incredible turnaround there for Graham Usher, who didn't start particularly well in this leg, but he's definitely sped 22. up a bit. Not one person has left 100. this crowd over the last couple of hours. Everybody wants to see who picks up that trophy. If I was in the player's shoes right now, it's not about the money. 100. It's about one word. Legacy. To I be the first to do something is a big deal. 60. I was just going to say champion. Great word. Everybody wants to be a champion. And if you think about 21. the career of these guys... Well, with all due respect... Graham, you require 137. Graham Usher's done in his career. He won the Lincolnshire Open back in 2019. Which is a, a big county tournament. But this is bigger. One hundred and thirty-one. Absolute fantastic. Graham, you require ninety-seven to put the real pressure on Graham to take out this ninety-seven for the opening leg. Does he go double double? No, he doesn't. Doesn't need to. Eighty-five. Conan, you require so much in the way of tension out there. As Conan goes for double sixteen. Game first shot blood, the first one. Whitehead. Conan Whitehead. Look, he's definitely got some fans out there. That's probably just Shirley that you can hear. Second leg, it's Graham to throw first. Game one on. down, three to go. When you're playing against Graham, 
You don't have to wait too long for your turn. No, it's a really great pace, this match, as, you know, the last couple of games have been as well. 42. That treble 18 switch does not come up trumps this time. 121. Just looking through the career of Conan Whitehead. He was part of the England international team in 25. 2018. Playing for England with the likes of Daniel Day, a good friend of his. Mark McGinney, 45. who we saw very recently here at the Super Series. Scott Baker, who we also saw. Some great England players in that squad, including someone who was sitting in this very seat 100. seven days ago, Scott Mitchell. If you're watching, Scott, very good morning to you. But if you look at the individual efforts of Whitehead in his career, he doesn't have a title of note. So by that virtue, and looking at Graham's career as well, this is without a shadow of a doubt the biggest game of their lives. There's 109 left. 40. And Whitehead is very much in this leg. You just wonder if Conan has shattered his stem and maybe that's why the flight was on the floor. That's why you've always got to carry spares, folks. I was on that stage just over a week ago and one of the points in my darts came out. It's a good job I had a spare one in the case. A spare point? How would you get that back in there like that? Oh. Yeah, the point is still out of the dart. Yeah. I had to go to a very different setup. I had a, I had a dart in the case with a different point, and I just had to use it for the rest of the night. 58. Graham, you require 90. That's the first time it's ever happened in my career. But let's see what Graham can do with 65 left. 50. He gives Conan a free hit at 136. Conan, you require 136. Ninety-six. Graham can't miss this time. Graham, you require forty. Double ten. Thank you. Thirty. And you have to wonder. Conan, you require that forty. That just put him off his rhythm there. He is a rhythm player. He likes to get rid of those darts really quickly. And that was as slow a visit as you will ever get from Musher. Game Incredibly. The second, That's a 20 Come dart break of throw, and Whitehead now will serve first for a 3 0 lead. Third, like I know that Whitehead's got his fans first. out there, but there's still Game on. a great deal of sportsmanship between these two players. Conan has to know that he was lucky in that leg there. So he's not going to take anything for granted. 140. And there you see Usher's had five chances at doubles in the first two legs. He's missed them all. Whereas Whitehead is 50%, which 63. is pretty good. And maybe the gambler is running out of chips again. The last time he was running out of chips, he found some more. Somehow. But he's going to have to dig very deep from here. He's going to have to go to his back pocket. 140. Now, see what's in his back pocket. Uh, the old reserve chips. Mm. We have to get the checkbook out. 121. The strength of the scoring from Whitehead all of a sudden is giving him breathing space. He's feeling 95. comfortable and confident. He's got a, a two leg buffer here. So you, you have to be feeling a little more relaxed now. He feels like he's just up there Conan, you require and continue playing. And, and the more treble 20s he hits or treble 19s he hits, then you know that, that's just going to escalate it even further. Doesn't want to be hitting any ones, though. 40. But knows that he will be back for the 86 with Graham back on 272. There was a call there for maybe bullseye at 25 with the last dart. 25 would have left him on. 125. Something Conan, a bit more you gettable. require 86. Now he's got to go 18 for Bull. Very safe single. 
button. 46. Ooh. He's Only laid up. 147. Wow. Did not see that coming. And we know how good Graham is on these big checkouts. He gambles. He doesn't hit. 83. Conan, you require Conan's 40. gamble. Does it pay off? Game shot. Double five. five. Conan what a Whitehead. story that double has had tonight. 3-0 Whitehead in the final. And Usher now needs to double Put down it's to twice throw first. if Game he wants off. to get the jackpot. Incredible stuff. Make no mistake, this is a vociferous Fancy atmosphere one. here at the Modus Live Lounge. A heavily whitehead audience. Maybe a touch of genius in bringing so many people here. 180! He means business. What is this going to do 95. potentially for Whitehead's darts career? Just to re-emphasize something we said earlier in the evening around seven or eight months ago he wasn't even throwing 100. darts he didn't want to do it anymore he came back to us he said i want another crack he won his first week back 60. he's won another week since then to get here he's one of the most prolific weekly winners on the super series roster 100. Funnily enough, he did mention to me, oh, actually, I don't know whether it was him or, or Shirley, mentioned that since the birth of his daughter, 100. Ada, who happens to be three months Conan, old you today, 121. Sunday, he's all of a sudden found his absolute hunger to win again. Are you telling me that he could win 77. on his daughter's birthday? No, it's, she's three months old today. Ah, three months. Yeah. It's good enough for me. 41. Is 44. Conan, you require good enough 44. For cool. I bet his heart is pumping at a million miles an hour at this point. Double 16. Game Whitehead shot. wins the title. And, the and wins and the, the jump super along with it. Champion. Under the confetti here. Go Slide lounge. Whitehead is the man. He is the last man standing, and he is the person that cannot be moved from the pinnacle here of stage one. Four nil in the final. He just had too much in the arsenal for the gambler. What a stage! What a Champions Week! What a finals night! And that may be the catalyst for the career of Conan the Barbarian. Great sportsmanship between the two. What do you say about that, Corinne? Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. I mean, not the best games in terms of what we've seen them play earlier in the evening, but just to be able to go out there in the final, made relatively no mistakes, wanted to get the job done, and he absolutely did it.